Happy Monday, everybody. We are coming at you with your second week of workouts for March. So we are coming at you with a little bit of a leg pump with some extras thrown in. And today we're going to be introducing a new movement for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this one and take it on head first for this challenge. So we are going to have two eight minute AM wraps. Our first eight minute AM wrap is gonna start with a 200 meter run. And then your eight minutes start when you get back from that. And you'll be doing these four movements for eight minutes. Once you're finished with those, you're gonna rest for three. Then you're gonna hit another 200 meter run and then another eight minute AM wrap. So we're gonna have four total different movements for each workout. So we're gonna move through the first four for you here real quick. So that new movement is the one of the first things we're gonna be doing. You're gonna be doing four per side and it's called a pistol squat. Pistol squats are very difficult to do. I can't even do one myself. So what we're gonna be working on today is a progression of one. So all you need is an elevated surface, whether that's a box, bench, chair, anything sturdy enough for you to stand on. You're going to be hanging your leg off of the side of whatever it is that you're standing on. And we're just going to be squatting. If you can kick your leg out in front of you a little bit, it's gonna make it a little bit more challenging. If all you wanna do is dangle your leg or hang it and squat like this, that's perfectly fine as well. And then you'll lose your balance and fall off like I do. <laughs> Another thing that you can do that is also quite challenging, it's gonna work a different set of muscles a little bit differently on those legs, is what's called a touchdown squat. And that's what Jake is demonstrating right now. It's a little bit different. You're gonna be hinging your hips back and then you're gonna be resting that leg downward until your heel lightly taps the floor. We're not looking to slam it on the ground. It's supposed to be a nice, slow, controlled movement. Um, so that one is gonna be have to be done on a little bit lower of a surface. You're obviously not gonna be able to do that from something that's high or something per se like a chair. So you're gonna have to find something a little bit shorter to do those off of if that's what you're wanting to do. So after we've done those, we're gonna have five lateral step ups with a knee drive. We've done these before. You're gonna be stepping up with that leg and then driving that knee up, stepping down and doing it again. Then obviously we're gonna swap sides, do five on the other. Then we're gonna move into six burpee box jumps. We just got doing, done doing these on Friday. So you should be well versed on these. Um, if you can't do a box jump, as always, just do a step up. That's perfectly fine as well. And then we're going to have for our last movement of this eight minute AMRAP is seven elevated hip bridges. <laughs> so we're going to be getting on our backs or in our butts. We're gonna be putting one leg up on the box and uh, elevating the other. And then we're going to be squeezing those glutes and lifting at the top. Make sure you're squeezing at the top, keeping everything tight in our quads, our hamstrings and our core. And that will finish us up for the first one. So we're gonna rest for three minutes and then we're gonna hit that 200 meter run again. And then start your clock when you get back. And this is, gonna, this is going to consist of four hollow rocks. Done these a couple times before. They're a little bit challenging. That's why I only put in four of those for this one. If you can't do a rock, you can just do a hold for a couple seconds. That's adequate as well for this workout. Then we have five uh, side lunges, so five per side. We're just going to be lunging down to the side. You don't have to get that low. <laughs> My legs just make me do that. <laughs> and then we're going to have uh, V-ups. These are gonna be alternating V-ups, so six per side. It's gonna be a little bit uh, easier than doing a regular V-up. If you wanna do a regular V-up, you're more than welcome to. If you wanna increase that number, you can as well. Do like eight, 10, 12, if that's something that you're interested in doing. And then lastly, we'll have seven air squats. So you've done these multiple times before. Pretty fairly simple, straightforward movement. Just making sure we're getting that hip crease parallel to or below parallel to the knees. And that will finish up your Monday workout. I hope you guys have fun with this one. Here at First Response Fitness, we are certified paramedics and not coaches or trainers. All exercises we present are shared from what we've learned in our fitness journeys. If you ask us about any medical symptoms, our advice will uniformly be that you are dying. Unless you pay us, in which case we will advise you that you are dying slower than others. If you would like to continue dying slower than everyone else, please use our community to help take control of your health and fitness. Always remember you being that you are risk, proper stretching is encouraged, and beware of excessive vagling.